Hey, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell y'all a few times I was scared of my clients in business. Yeah, this is gonna be funny. Hey, look, I remember I was cutting grass for this one guy. I think he was in the military. I don't know what it was. This is when I was. <clears throat> this is when I was cheap, reliable lawn service. I got a GPS's address. So. <clears throat> look, I remember this guy. I think he used to beat his doggone wife. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, look. I remember. I'm going to give y'all a few different stories. They're not going to be in order. It's cutting this guy yard. <clears throat> I remember. We eat in front of the house. But him and that woman was in there arguing, but he was yelling. I said, man, I hope he don't come outside and yell at me. <laughs> I said, man, I hope he don't come outside and yell at me. Hey, so look. Hey. When it was time for him to pay me, I had to knock on the door and get them funky $25. Start route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So look, I knocked on that door. Look, I did, I did, I, this is how I knocked. Sat there for five minutes. Man, I don't want to knock too loud. He come, he swung that door open. Look, he swung that door open, I did this. Look, he swung that door, I did. He said, oh, let me pay you. He said, I'm sitting in there arguing with this stupid woman. That's what he said. I said, oh man, I'm sorry to interrupt. Got the yard done. He gave me them funky twenty-five dollars. I got on down. Look, same guy now. I remember. I remember. I'm cutting the yard. This is before I even had a schedule. He said, "Man, I don't want to call you every time to grass." Look, look. He called me. Hey, man, I need my grass cut. Uh, okay, Mr. B, I'll be there tomorrow. Before I get over there tomorrow. <clears throat> Pull tomorrow off the trailer. He come walking outside. Look, I did this. He said, man, I want to call you every time the grass grow. Oh, uh, I, I, I can do a, uh, I can put you on the schedule. Yeah, put me on the schedule, man. And then he look, he was, I don't want to, I don't have to, about to call you every time the grass grow. And then look, when I put him on that funky every two week schedule, I came back in two weeks, this is what I said. I hope he ain't forget he told me to put him on the schedule. And look, so when you're on the schedule, right? <clears throat> Sometime the client won't be home. This is when you get paid with cash. I remember I cut it once. Boom. I, I knocked on the door. I said, he home. I come back next time. I cut it again. He gave me them $25. I, I, I said, I appreciate it. He closed the door. Look, when I got back in the truck, this is what I told myself. I said, man, why you ain't telling we already done cut it? I said, man, I don't want to. I don't want. Look, look. I don't want him to think I'm lying. Then he fired me, so I just kind of eat it. Do you know how many times I ate not getting paid? Do you know how many times I ate that? Look, I can't, when they give me the money, I just take the money and put it in my pocket instead of counting. Then get back to the truck, and they ain't paid me for last time. And look, yeah, that fear will creep on it. Look, I cut the property twice. Look, I done cut the property twice, then I'm out there cutting it the third time. They pull up, oh, I owe you for a cut. They pay me for one and they pay me for another, but one of them cuts I cut for free. I get in the truck, I be like, man, bro, they ain't, they ain't paid me. I said, man, go tell them. Man, it's all good, I'ma just eat it. Then I got to the point, I'ma text everybody before I come. And that started it, I said, yeah, I'ma be smart, text everybody before I come, make sure I get paid, and if they not home, I got a record showing that I was there. And that's when the bull crap started, I text, Mr. Beal, I got your property on schedule for tomorrow. Skip it this week, come next week. That's when all that bull junk started. Shooting everybody a text, oh, it ain't really grew. I said, dang, boy, look, boy, I was messed up out here. Wasn't getting paid, nobody would let me cut their property on time. I don't know what made me get a CRM. I don't know what made me get a CRM, but I was tired of dealing with the bull. I don't know, man, I don't know what, man, I don't know what made me get a CRM. So look, I remember I had this one client, boy, he was putting the shaft in me every time I would show up to cut the yard. Every time, 
he will put the shaft in me. And he, here's what I mean. Every time I pull up, he got a doggone, uh, 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 a bulletin of what all I need to do. Look, he'll have a sheet of paper folded by the front door. And if I unfold the paper, it wasn't new, but it wasn't nothing but two twenty dollar bills in them. Point number one: trim all of the shrubs and pick up the clippings. Point number two: cut the grass at three point five inches. Point number three: pick up all of the sticks in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point number four: blow the leaves off the right side property behind the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Point number five, also weedy, trim, and blow down. Number five, thanks. Forty flipping dollars. Man, how, how low can you go? I'm trying to, boy, look. <clears throat> I'm not, man, listen. I remember one time I cut this guy property thrice. Fifty dollars a cut, a hundred and fifty dollars is what he owed. Hold on, y'all, I'm lost, man. I remember, I said, man, he owe me $150. I said, that's a little high. I don't want to tell him that what he owe us. I said, man, that's a little high. That's what I said, I said man, that's a little high. What I owe you, Gibson? Uh, 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 uh we can just do 100 All right. Really deep down inside, he owe me 150 I was scared to get, man, I was scared to get the money. Man, listen, I don't know what made me change all that foolishness. But them folks used to have me scared. I, I mean, hey, I'm saying, I don't know what changed it. If you give me a deal on this one, I got a buddy y'all need to be cut. All right. Man, today my birthday. All right, I'll give you half off. <laughs> man, now you, man, now you, man, you, you blink wrong, I fight up. Man, I, look. I'll fire the flip out of somebody now. And ready to fight. Yeah, yeah, I'll fire you and I'm ready to fight. I don't give a flip no more. Flip it. Man, bro. Man, I, yo, yeah, that's what I want to tell you too about the dude, about the first dude. I remember he had a double opening gate where I can get my rider back there. Well, he went and bought this little trailer, parked the trailer in front of the RV gate, like one of them little RV mobile home deals. He come outside. Oh, you can't even get in the gate, huh? It's all right. I got a push mode. That's what I told him. It's all right. I, I got a push mode. <laughs> My pole living behind. I said, man, it's all right. I, I, I got a push mode. Man, I hope I ain't flatten my flipping tire. Hey. I said, man, it's all right. I, I, I got a push mode. He went back in the house. All right, and left. Hey, listen. Stop being, look, right now, man, I'll fight a flip out of anybody. I don't care. I ain't with none of that bull. Hey, look, looking back, when that dude was in there beating this woman, I should have went out there. I should have, hey, up and up in there. And when he came outside, took that little saw at 25. Hey, this guy, I remember, this is the same guy. I'm out there cutting the grass. He had started a podcast. I'm out there cutting the grass. He come outside, hey. I'm shooting a podcast. Come back tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, when I got back in my truck, when I got back in that piece of trash truck with no AC, <laughs> look, I looked up in my rearview mirror. And the image I seen in my rearview mirror was me in the future laughing at me. All I could do was just put my head down and ride home. Because I was the only y'all that had to cut for the day. I was working night shift. I got up in the morning for nothing. I put my head down and rolled home. <laughs> and then came back the next day. And look, here's the funny part. I had half the yard already cut. Come back tomorrow. I'm on the, I, I, oh, I'm sorry. Man, today, hey, hey, come back tomorrow. I ain't coming a flipping thing tomorrow. Give a flip about your guests you got on the flipping podcast. Do y'all want to ta tag team and cut at your flipping self? I don't give a flip. Yeah, to the other dude with the bulletin. Flip your bulletin point. I ain't doing none of this unless you're giving me $600. Flip all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingdom Blanc, yeah. Hey, Gibson, tell me how you ever did this, bro. Somebody stopped you. They be like, hey, that's right.